And welcome back. Tom is spending the afternoon out at the Community Blood Center of the Ozarks. Tom, what's happening out over there? Big things are happening because, you know, the thing is, this is a not-for-profit organization, the CBCO, but you can really profit from the CBCO. Yeah. Michelle is with me, and she, she knows everything that goes on here. Good to see you Good again. Good to see you. We love having you out. All right. Thank you. Well, I, I really enjoy being here because I'm always learning something. Why don't we kind of go over the, well, what the CBCO is all about? Blood. Well, Blood. That so one we're, I knew. Yeah. We're a, a blood bank mm -hmm. and we want your donations. Um, we'll take platelets, plasma, and red blood cells. Right. You can give the red blood every six, 56 days. Yeah, I know. It's like I'm a, like one or two days away from right. being able to do that. Right. So we both gave during the bleed red drive in right. July. Mm -hmm. And so we'll both be able to give next week. Okay. Now, great thing about it is you are helping so many people throughout the Ozarks. Yes, yes. so for every donation you can save three lives. Mm -hmm. So you're tripling it. Yeah, and that is no kidding. You are saving right. lives by just coming right. in here and donating. There's, there is a patient at the hospital that's waiting for your blood. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we want people to come in. The Community Blood Center is kind of calling on all donors to get out. We're really looking for type O positive okay. and type O negative bloods right now. Mm -hmm. We're needing that. So if you are that blood type, I urge you to get out and donate. Um, and it's the blood on the shelves that actually helps the patients. So if you would donate today, it's going to go on the shelf, and you know it might be a patient next week that needs yes, that. Yes, yes. But you need to keep the supply up because right. they're, they're, it's not like the demand goes away. Nope. About 200 donations a day are a day. needed. Yep. And that's on normal days. Yes. And we're going to talk a little bit about the abnormal days that are, right. that are coming up very right. soon. Now, as far as the blood that's collected here, is this where it stays in the Ozarks? It is. So we service 44 hospitals in the Ozark area. It's southwest Missouri, northwest Arkansas, and southeast Kansas. Mm -hmm. Explain the sign behind you, the, the life points yeah. here. Talk about that a okay. little bit because so, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it is cool. So uh, we have a life point store. So mm -hmm. you as a donor, you have a donor profile, you have like a dashboard. Um, that you can go in and log in. And so every time you donate, you earn points. Mm -hmm. And you can redeem your points for prizes or gift cards. So if you wanted a Culver's gift card, you could go redeem your points. Yeah. Or you could redeem them and give them to an area organization. So some of the organizations right, right here on, right. on, on the so side. So some are in southwest Missouri, some are in northwest Arkansas. Um, and the donors kind of pick who they would like to benefit based on kind of where they live usually. Mm -hmm. But so they get rewarded two times a year. We deliver checks. So I got to do that in July. That was fun that I got to deliver money. Sometimes I'm or I'm used to being the person asking for money. So it was good to be on the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah, but speaking of which, people can come in and yeah, make donations as well. They can. Monetary donations because, you know, this is one of the places in the Ozarks that you know. It helps the Ozarks. It stays in the Ozarks. And it's needed and will be needed by just about anybody in the Ozarks at right. one time or another. Correct. Yep. What's the procedure? I mean, we do like to, to, to talk about this uh, to folks regularly, the procedure for donating blood. So you could register and make an appointment online, and that's going to help kind of speed up your process. Or you can walk in. You can do either one. Right. When you first get here, they're going to do like a little health history screening, and you kind of go to a computer, and you fill out the questions. Then they'll test, do a, like a fingerprint. Right. And they'll test your hemoglobin level to see if your hemoglobin level is high enough to donate today. Okay. So you have to be a certain level right. for the due to pr proceed to the next step. And then they'll kind of put you on a bed and get you ready, get everything on your arm, blood pressure cuff, things like that. And then that process is only about 15 minutes. And then after that, you're going to go sit in like the ca canteen waiting area, get a snack, get a drink. They kind of just want to keep an eye on you for a little bit, mm -hmm. a couple, 15 minutes, make sure you're feeling okay and that you don't have a reaction. So, you know, if, if, if you're on your lunch hour, you can get it all done on your lunch hour. Yeah, yeah. You could be in and out of the door in 45 minutes. See, that, that's amazing when you think it'll take 45 minutes and, I mean, look at the benefit it has for the community. So, we're going to come back here a little bit. I'm going to talk to Michelle a little bit more about those days where there may be extra need uh, from the Ozarks and coming to the CBCO can help with that. So, 
don't go too far away. Back to you guys. Thank you, Tom. You know, they make it so fast, they make it so easy, but you also know that your blood stays here. Neighbors helping neighbors, and to me, that is a huge factor. Yeah, it's super important. It's super important because yeah. people need blood right here in the Ozarks, and it's awesome that it goes right there. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, more on that later.